Oh my god, guys, is that Jinbei from One Piece? <laughs> is that Freaky? Is that Sasuke? Is that Battle Warrior? <laughs> Alright, yeah, guys, I am playing another tower defense game, which is based off anime, of course. And honestly, it's quite fun, you know. Uh, it, it's so fun to gamble just to get new units like Esper and Admiral of Lava and Donut Warrior. It's so fun to gamble. Unlike TDS, I have free camera mode. Whoa. Alright, so just like every other TDS game, you play you place your units to defend your base and upgrade the units to place more damage. Alright, so right here we have Jimbei. Uh, he doesn't really look like Jimbei because of the copyright thingy. So yeah. Uh, honestly, is is actually a really good epic. Yeah. So when you whenever you upgrade a unit in this game, it doesn't change it doesn't change the appearances, but in TDS it does. Our right, time to place down Frankie, one of my favorite legendaries. Look at that! Look at that! I'm gonna upgrade and I'm gonna place some more Ocean Guardians so we can deal more damage. I'm doing infinite mode by the way. So this so this game will never end until I lose. It gets harder every single wave. Alright, here's Sasuke. Sasuke. Bro, I barely see him because of these big blue balls. Hey, yo! Sasuke is one of the mythics, and usually mythics are really good, especially their damage. Like, just look at that. 2.1k damage is just wild. And I also have another mythic, Katakori, which I will place later. Uh, just like any other tower defense game, there are farms. This one is Bloomer. Um, I think the character's name is Bluma, but I don't remember. Yeah, it's just like a farm. Like, you see right here, it, gi it gives me 500 cash each wave. Just like TDS. Yeah, I got immediately bored, so I left the game. Alright, so what I chose to do, I'm gonna solo Chapter 6 Hard Mode in Windmill Village with just using Donut Warrior. Just, just placing one. Let's see how I go. Oh crap, I forgot to put on Hard Mode. <laughs> This is Katakuri, one of my favorite One Piece characters, and like what and like what I said, it's a mythic, and it's really good. Usually mythics are really good. Alright, for this upgrade, Donut Bullet, he's gonna summon donuts that that's gonna be like turrets. Here, just watch this. Just wait for it. Yeah, see, and that's actual really OP. It's really OP. So, unlike TDS, TDS has more waves and in Anime Defenders only has 15 waves and Auto Skip is completely free. But for TDS, you have to pay like 499 Robux. I think it's 300 Robux, but yeah. Sometimes this can get boring, just like all the other TDS games. Oh yeah! There is also a trade realm in this game, unlike TDS. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys the trade realm after this round, because uh, it's actually getting quite boring. This is what I hate about tower defense games. They get so boring, bro, I swear to God. Alright, I am up to the final wave, and my, my Donut Warrior is not even maxed out. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna place a Frankie for more DPS. His actual is getting kind of boring. Let's see how he does. Bro, oh my days. I, I, sh I should have done this in hard mode, but I forgot to do that. Wow, me. Alright, so in Trade Realm, you can sell your own towers. It's like Petsum X, actually. You sell your own towers for a certain amount of gems, like 160, 900. And yeah, there's certain values of this, so I'm gonna trade some random person. Alright, 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 let's hear it, Curse Prince. Where's your Curse Prince? Warrior Princess, I don't have a good offer for that. Bro, 
Bro! And there's also an AFK zone, free gems. You just stay AFK and wait a few minutes for free 4 gems. It's really boring, you know? Alright, yeah, that's basically it for the video. I don't even know what to explain to anything else. I'm just really bored. It's the weekend. And it's Sunday. I have school tomorrow, which I hate. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.